Hello beautiful people. Today I'm going to be talking about my candle refills that I just launched. Come on and join me in this video. Whew, I love a good cup of cinnamon tea. I love my coffee too but today I am drinking tea. Hello beautiful people and welcome back to my channel. It has been a while, right? It's been probably a week or so. Anyhow, today I just want to come on here and talk a little bit about my new candle refills. I was able to launch these probably, I'm going to say two weeks ago. Um, and they have done amazing to the point where they're actually sold out now because I only made a select few of each scent just to see how they would do and people love them. So I am so excited about the response that I received from these and it just makes me really happy. So a little bit of the backstory. Um, when I started my candle business, I needed to differentiate myself because this is such a noisy category. You know, it's saturated. There are a lot of candle companies. You know, I'm doing these videos and I'm doing tutorials and we're talking about business from beginning to end. And everyone who subscribes to my channel is not a candle maker. They're just starting a business, but there are a lot of you who are candle makers and um, it's just a saturated field. It's a saturated category. There's a, a lot of noise there. There's so many different candles and you know, it's great, but it can be really, really difficult to stand out from the crowd, I guess you could say. So. With my candle business and doing my research, one of the pain points that I've always had with candles is I would go into a store, right? And the candles would be absolutely beautiful in these beautiful vessels and I would buy it sometimes just because the vessel was so pretty and it may match my decor if I'm switching things around for spring or summer or whatever. Um, so I would just buy it and after that candle burned down, I'm like, okay. I already have enough pencil holders. I already have enough vases with flowers in them. I've created my herb gardens out of all of my, you know, old candle jars. I have makeup, you know, brushes in my candle jars. Now what do I do? So I had ended up starting like this pile, like I had a basket and I'll insert a picture of all of these old candle jars just in a basket because I did not want to trash them. Um, I felt guilty because again in doing my research I learned how much glass and ceramics and things of that nature are just thrown into our landfills and we all know that the waste in the landfills causes a huge problem for our earth. Um, we have global warming going on and because of that it's affecting our animals and their habitats and it's affecting the temperature on earth and causing all of these things to happen that could potentially be the reason we are unable to live on earth anymore and so for me that's kind of scary and i want it to be a part of the solution and not the problem um i really really care about sustainability and being green and just having um an eco-friendly and sustainable clean product and so as you all know if you've already been watching my channel I only use toxin free phylate free clean ingredients in my candles I use the wooden wicks because I love the way they sound it's a little bit of ASMR in there when you hear that crackling sound but also because the wooden wicks are recyclable, they're not hard on our environment, and they don't release the toxins that a cotton wick could potentially release. That's if you're buying a cotton wick that contains zinc or metal um, in the inside. There are some really clean cotton wicks um, that you can potentially use. You just have to do your research on those. So not all cotton wicks are bad before someone jumps in the comments and says, Cotton wicks aren't bad because I know not all of them are, but there are some that contain ingredients that are toxic. Um, and not so much as ingredients, but materials. 
Um, so anyhow, I wanted to do something different, so I thought, what could I do? And I wrecked my brain. I literally have been working on creating these refills and trying to make them work um, for a very, very long time. Um, and my husband basically told me, like, just start your candle business. Continue to work on how you're going to do the refills, but get it out there. And so I actually launched my candle business before I was done with the final um, candle refill. And um, once I started to see that I was getting traction on my candles without me even having this solution, I was super excited about it. But I thought, you know, okay, I'm still a part of the problem in this industry and I need to hurry up and get this out there so that, you know, my consumers will have something that they can purchase instead of throwing away their jars they can just purchase these refills and pop them into their empty jars so it's really a three-step process when you're using this candle refill it's really simple it's really easy and you never have to throw away these beautiful jars um, if you decide you want a different color jar just order a new candle let that burn and then order refills for that color um, but don't throw them away um, so the three step process is basically you're going to purchase your first candle. It's going to come already made. It's going to have the label on there and you're going to light, you know, trim your wick, of course, light your candle. And then after this candle has burned, it's 60 hours and you're done with it. Um, you're going to have a little bit of candle residue at the end and you're going to want to let that solidify before you try to wipe it out. Now you can take the jar pop it in the freezer allow the candle wax to freeze and get the candle wax out that way and pull the wick out uh, the wick clip or you can just really take a paper towel and wipe um, the wax out of the bottom because my waxes are so soft um, it's really not difficult for you to just get it out um, with a paper towel but make sure you remove the metal wick clip and what I mean by the metal wick clip is Give me one second. Residue. After you wipe out the wax residue, you're going to remove the metal wick clip. Okay? Make sure you remove this. And then you're going to have an empty jar. My candle refills come pre wicked, of course. There's a little wick sticker at the bottom. You're going to peel off the paper and then. You're gonna pop your new wax refill into your jar. Voila! After that, you'll light your jar just as you did in the beginning when you first purchased your candle, and you're gonna go from there. Now, again, if you're tired of your chrome jar, you can always order a new candle and order it in a different color jar. When I created my company, that was also important for me to differentiate myself from a lot of the other candle companies on the market is the need to be able to offer different scents and different colors because all of our decor is not the same. And I had that issue in going out sometimes and purchasing um, candles. They would come in these jars that would match my decor, but I did not like the scent. And sometimes because I wanted the jar to match my decor, I would just buy it anyway because the jar was beautiful. And either I wouldn't burn it or, you know, I just muster through it and burn it because I wanted that ambiance. Um, or the other issue would be, okay, um, the scent is really nice, but the jar didn't match my decor. So either it was a cute jar with a stinky scent or a not so cute jar with a scent that smelled really good that I would end up purchasing um, and it just didn't give me options. A lot of the candle companies don't give you options and so I wanted to have different options in terms of vessel colors. That's also why my um, candle tins come in several different colors. Those are not refillable by the way because the candle tins are a recyclable material that are easy recyclable so after you burn them out throw them in your recycle bin and you're good to go from there however these jars 
they don't break down um, as easily as a tin candle would. And so you want to make sure that you're not tossing these in the trash and you are repurposing them so that they don't end up in our landfills. Um, and you know what? Some people are going to purchase my candles and are not going to want to buy a refill. They're just going to buy a new candle and that's them. You know, I can't really control what um, consumers do, but I can really just get out there and just say, hey, everybody, my business is to, to not only provide memories, love and inspiration into your home through candle scent, but I'm also trying to provide clean, vegan, toxin, phylate free candles um, that are also sustainable and recyclable because that is really important to me as a business owner as and as a company. And so as long as I'm giving, you know, my customers ideas of, you know, okay, you may not want the candle refill, but you know what? You can take um, a fresh bushel of flowers and pop them into a vessel and repurpose it that way. Or if you're sitting at your desk and you have all of these pins and um, different things, you can put those into a candle vessel and repurpose it that way. Or if you have makeup brushes because you love makeup like I do, you can use your vessel as a makeup brush holder. You can take four of these vessels and create an herb garden in your kitchen. Um, or you can plant something else in these jars. Um, I just don't want for um, you to, your first thing to be is to, I guess, throw them away. <laughs> Um, so for me, that is um, why I created my candle refills, not only so that my consumers can have options, but so we can also lessen our carbon footprint as a whole. And so um, I really hope that this video inspired you to go out and do something different with your candle business or whatever business it is that you have started, um, just to do something different. Um, make noise in the industry that you're in and inspire others and so I just wanted to talk a little bit about that today I definitely cannot share my process right now because again I am in the middle of trying to get um, if not a patent but a, a design patent because they're two different things and we can talk about that in one of the business videos but in a nutshell these are my babies my candle refills my candle line and I am just so excited as to where it is going um, and I am thankful that you all have watched this video today that you're supporting this channel that you're inspiring each other definitely comment below what you're going to do with your business to be different or to inspire others to be different and um, I just want to know like where you all are and what you think about you know what I have created and uh, let's have a conversation so thank you so much loves again as always for watching my video and I will see you next time. Bye!